Hey everybody, welcome back. In the last video, what we did is we added a search icon to our Drawables folder. We added the dra resources, Drawables, and then inside of IC Search White. If we double click that and we open up a preview on the right, you'll see we have, hey, we have a search icon there. So that's what we added. And we went ahead and put it for the floating action button there, all inside of Activity Main. So in this video, let's do something a little bit different. Let's go ahead and get started actually building this app and what it's going to look like. So what I'm kind of envisioning for this news media app is that you can browse the news. You can read the news on this app. So I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, first I'm going to open up Content Main. So double click Content Main, which is inside of, inside of App, Resources, or just Res. Uh, layout and then content main. So I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to go ahead and select. Oh, and there are two modes there's text mode and there's design mode. So in decide design mode, I'm going to go ahead and select that and I'm going to click on the hello world and hit the delete key on my keyboard and that gets rid of it. So what I want to do is I want to maybe um, let's add a logo. So I'm trying to think of what we could do. Yeah, let's go ahead and just add some logo. Let's add a logo. Why not? Just add some text. So in this case, say I don't really have a logo, so let's just put a picture of me. So here's a picture of me. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to copy. And again, this is just a picture that's in Finder. You can do the same thing, I'm pretty sure, on Windows with Windows Explorer or with Linux or Ubuntu or whatever. Just make sure that there's no spaces and that everything is... Uh, you can replace all the spaces with underscores. So again, here's a picture of me. Pretend it's a logo or something. This will work for now. Copy it. Now let's go back inside of Android Studio, and then inside of Drawables, select the Drawables folder and go to Paste. And then you'll see this folder here. Let's just select the Drawables folder, hit OK, and then OK, and then it adds it to the project. So we can double click on Daniel Malone, and there's a picture of me. So this will work for now. Just say I'm an editor at this newspaper, and we want to add it to our app. So how can we do that? So if we open up, uh, open up Constant Main again in design mode, and if you don't see the palette there, go ahead and click on the palette there. And under Common, you'll see Image View. So we can either right click on it and do Add to Design, which is what we'll do there. And uh, then you'll see we kind of have uh, some choices. We have our project photos. We have Android. We can open these up and close these. We have our theme stuff. But what we want to focus on right here is not avatars, because we, if we didn't have the graphics that we needed, we could add some kind of placeholder graphics here. But in this case, I know the I know what I want to add. So it's this Daniel underscore Malone folder, or Daniel underscore Malone photo file. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll see it comes up really huge in the app. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. So let's just grab that and kind of resize it. So it's kind of like a what you see is what you get editor. Now we'll go over some kind of caveats to, well, it's not, it's not necessarily the simple. So I'm going to go ahead and just position it kind of in the middle of the screen. I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to go ahead and click the run button. Then I'm going to open up the emulator. And let's just see what it looks like. So it's kind of weird, you know, in the, in the preview in Android Studio down here, it's kind of in the middle, but in the, but in the actual emulator right here, it's in the top left. So what's going on? So what's going on is inside of Constraint Layout, it doesn't, Constraint Layout doesn't know where to store or where to, where to display this image. So what we need to do is select the image. So again, you can select off of it, but go ahead and click on the image. Then you see these little blue handlebars. So I'll click and drag, and then let go. And then on the other side, I'm going to click drag and let go. And then on the right side, I'm going to click, drag, and let go. And it kind of centers it in the center there. So I'm going to do save. Uh, then I'm going to go to the emulator by hitting the play button and wait a couple of seconds and it opens up. And there it is. So say we want to make that smaller. So what we have to do is select the image. And then on the right, you'll notice it has a layout width and layout height. So let's make both of these. Let's do uh, if, you, if you're a web developer, you might be used to working in pixels, you know, like 100 pixels. But in this case, uh, we use DP. So let's do about 80 DP. So that makes it kind of small. And this, let's do 80 DP as well. So now we have that small image there. So I'm going to go ahead and save it, hit the Run button, go back to the emulator, and then we should see that it updates. So there's our logo. So in this case, I don't want it centered. I want it over to the left side. So I'm going to go ahead and select the image, and I think we can just hit, see the, the point there? Go ahead and hit it, save it, then let's run it one more time. 
open up the emulator and you'll see the image should be in the top left, and it is. So that's the basics of constraint layout. We added an image, we, we just, all we had to do was just copy and paste it inside of the drawables folder. You can select that and then just do paste. That'll paste the image. Uh, Daniel Malone, you can double click on it to preview it. Uh, then you can, trying to think of what else, add it to the, add it to the layout. Um, we'll, we'll do more with the layout in the, pre, in the future video. So I'll see you in the next part.